Oh, look at it go. It happens all the time. You're browsing YouTube, all of a sudden you're on this weird side of YouTube. That didn't happen this time. I found the awesome side of YouTube. I was just gonna make a joke. This is just ketchup. Then I realized I'm the weird side of YouTube. Look at this, it's incredible. A full scale, two wheeled car stabilized by a gyroscope. The engine is in the back here and it's powered by gasoline. The front of the car is where the magic happens. This is the gyroscope which keeps the car balanced. So today me and Bob is building one. Let's begin in this corner. We have a brushless motor with a speed controller and a 3D printed pulley gear. Really nothing too exciting to see. Well, what happened here was that I found a, found a very small plastic hex nut that I melted to fit a bearing in and that goes in here. I then have this axle that should go in something. Oh gee, that didn't work. You could easily just use some gears or even put the motor in the wheel. I just do this because I'm slick, but I found this small hex nut. I inserted a small bearing that goes in here. I then found this axle goes in something like... This gear is widely used on electric skateboards and it just happens to fit weirdly well. And that's our drivetrain. Let's put the back tire somewhere here. I think the gyroscope will have to be somewhere in the middle and then we'll have a front wheel that is connected to something like this servo so we can move left and right. Then we'll make some kind of top department where we'll keep the battery and receiver and everything else. Some things did go right, perfect. Some things gone terribly wrong. This was fail number one, by the way. I'm not sure I have footage of fail number two, three, four. I, I'm not sure I got this recorded. I don't think I got this recorded. The GoPro fell over, ruined the entire print. That kind of did it for me. But here is the final car body, it looks like complete crap. It, it failed kind of halfway. I swapped the colors to make it even worse. But all you need to know is I, I've printed the parts. This is the motor mount for the motor goes in something like this. That will be seated. Oh, oh excuse me. That will be seated in here and I can adjust the length by the two grooves on the side. Perfect explanation, Simon, let's move on. Seeing all things go together really made me feel like it could work. So let me go through the setup here. We'll have the back tire in this direction. We'll have the motor set up over here, the belt between them. We'll have the disc inserted here. Notice how the gyroscope is not centered. It's not perfectly in the middle of the car and I'm not sure that plays a huge role in whether this will work or not. And remember, we're just testing here. The steering system is really quite simple. We'll have this pivoting mount mounted something like that with the tire. That's good.
we've encountered a small problem, totally fixable. The problem is once we tension the belt, this axle, uh, because we only have one bearing inside the wheel, uh, it gets pushed to one side, so it, it's not perfectly stable. It can uh, wiggle back and forth, which is obviously not very good. So I printed a spacer with a spacer inside of it, spacer inception, and it just gets pushed in here. That made it a lot more stable, so hopefully that fixed it. Another problem, I'm just gonna mention it very quickly, is that it requires quite a lot of torque to spin the motor and the tire. And so all the other speed controllers meant for RC airplanes didn't work. I found this old RC car speed controller and just remember, and just remember how it works now. And this is with a speed controller meant for RC airplanes. It took me quite a while to go through all the speed controllers and find this specific one that worked. All right, here it is. Steering and everything works. So uh, we'll be heading out for this one. I can't really drive it inside, so it will be interesting to see how this two-wheeled car stabilized by a gyroscope works. Let's do it. I've never seen a swarm of kids disappear that quickly. I dropped some physics knowledge, they all ran away. Though saying you have a YouTube channel is highly popular, it's pretty weird. Okay, so I did a few test runs and it did seem to work quite well. You do need to pick up quite some speed before it stabilizes. It's actually surprisingly fast, the steering does seem to work. Uh, I'm gonna do some more runs here with the drone up in the air, I'll do some slow motion and uh, just get some awesome footage of this, I guess. The microphone died last night, so I'm just gonna reshoot this footage. So as you can tell, I can keep it very stable for a long period of time. It does require you to do some steering, uh, but it does work very well. It kind of auto-centers itself constantly. So now let's turn the gyroscope off. And now we'll see how well it works. You can keep it stable for a few meters, but you really have to concentrate on the steering. Oh 
look at it goes. The motor is very powerful, it does go pretty fast. The gyro effect, the stabilization is quite significant. Yeah, pretty nice. I think we can label this project, not a total failure.